problem is, is I can't work with people from a distance. I have literally thousands and thousands of photos and test results and pictures and, and, and documentation of the things you're interested in, like micro to macro. Mm -hmm. I have to get this all up online. I've been doing it alone for, for a long time, and I've now accepted that I'm not making enough progress. My day-to-day -day life, I'm still just barely able to come up from air, and I do all my work uh, just a, you know, already at, at the end of the day, and I'm just not getting enough done. And you're in Hawaii. Well, so I'm willing to move. I have a beautiful house on the beach. Um, like I said, there is a facility in Texas, but I'd go to Missouri. I'd go anywhere if I could uh, afford to buy the Texas facility is a quarter of a million dollars. So what do you want to do with the facility? Do you want to build coils? or, uh, or what, is, what, what would be the idea of, of a facility? There's a lot of experts out there in your audience and worldwide that are, that are more experienced and are master engineers that could build these coils. Right. In other words, My you've, got, you've got the design specifications. So the first thing is to preserve all the details of how it's made, how it's energized, and share that by putting it up on, on a website. Right. Um, but to do all of that, I need to have a staff, and I just cannot do things living and working out of my house. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I was trying to present and explain the work using Macromedia. The Macromedia suite is certainly an excellent suite. There's more advanced softwares like Maya or 3D Max, but really what I'm trying to explain could easily director, macromedia director, macromedia flash. I'm just trying to preserve the work without getting too far difficult. I want to say something, Marco, about uh, about that, actually, because it's something we talked about off the air, too, and I want to commend you, first of all, because I know that there are many people who want to get their hands on this and want contractual agreements, etc., that might put you in a difficult situation or whatever, and I'm sure there's money involved that would probably put you in a better situation. But I've you... been offered the moon. I've yeah. spoken with the Milken Institute. A lot of people want to use my work for um, financial market predictions. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, <Figures>. I don't <laughs> figures. You know, that's what they see in it. Amazing. They're sincere. I, I I'm not angry at them. Um, they live a different existence. Right. I mean, right. I'm I mix. I rub shoulders with them, and I listen to them talk about, oh, I lost a million here, let's do another million there. Um, very wealthy people. They don't really understand that I'm just trying to, to share something, and I, I didn't do it because I'm trying to um, create a monopoly and blackmail everybody with a new technology. Um, they all want me to get patents and get exclusivity. That's not my lifestyle. I'll be lucky if I'm alive 10 or 20 years from now. I may not even be living even anywhere near that. The last thing I want to do is try and create what, everyone, what classically always happens is to create a secret proprietizer. Mm. Um, so if any of the listeners uh, was willing to buy a facility for me or had one, the reason I like the one in Texas is it was 25,000 square feet and it had over 20, 30-plus offices and lived workspaces. So then I could have had a staff of computer programmers. Then, of course, we could be making prototypes. Um, of course, we'd have to be living there, too, me and my family. Um, and, again, I mean, and again, this is the reason why. In other words, the reason why you don't have a facility right now is not because the work doesn't uh, deserve it. It's because you haven't been willing to basically sign it away. I mean, and this is what is required in, in, in order to get, uh, the money to do these things in most, 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 most cases. That's right. I'm not. I'm not using the class. I, I believe in capitalism. I'm not going to slight the free enterprise market. I just part of the problem is, and I'm certainly contradicting it by talking publicly about it. Is I've been always very worried about being suppressed. I've never had it happen. Um, and but because of the, I understand how this gives an advantage to whoever is in possession of it. I've been I've been so precautious that I I haven't been able to get it out there. So I've realized now that I gotta literally bite the bullet and do whatever it takes uh, to hope to rush to as fast and as quickly as I can preserve it. Um, I, any one of us never knows what is around the corner in our future, a car accident or anything. And I certainly want to see that this work survives and that I don't take it to the grave like other great scientists have on their discoveries. So that's why I'm, I'm sharing it with you tonight.
All right. Well, Marco, uh, we're going to have to call it at that. It's a great way to finish things up. We will certainly do this again. It is ongoing work, and we're going to stay really uh, close with you and in touch and try to share information and, uh, and contacts and all this stuff. And um, we'll come back on the air and talk again. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It's amazing information. I admire your courage for, for inviting my conversation on numbers because I know how easily I must lose everybody. Well, I mean, mathematics is a language all its own, and, and uh, we, have diffic- you know, we have enough difficulty getting our point across uh, with English, and, and mathematics isn't necessarily English, <laughs> so, uh, so it's not always easy, but the point is you've got some real-world things uh, that, that, that can be put on a table and shown to people, and I just wanted to give you know, as, as much background as we could on where those ideas came from. But the bottom line is we have real-world technology that needs to be investigated uh, further and uh, obviously looked at and uh, implemented because uh, there are too many people that are looking at your work and are making amazing statements about it. So, um, as I said, I wish we had more time, but we'll do it again. And... Uh, I really appreciate your exposing me to the public. Well, you've, you, you, you're doing great work, and I commend Jeff Rents uh, for having you on his program a month or so ago, too, because some people heard uh, that and then sent me a note and said he was fantastic. We'd like to hear more. So, uh, so thanks to everybody who's involved in getting this information out, and that's what it takes, Marco, you know, collaboration and, and working together. So we'll continue to try to do more of that. And, uh, again, thank you so much, all right? Thank you. All right, we'll be in touch. Everybody, that's Marco Roden. And uh, information about Marco can be found on his website at rodinmath, R-O-D-I-N-M-A-T-H dot com. Also, from here on out, you'll be able to find information about